Hi everyone. We are really excited that you will be joining us at our blended learning professional development series this year and we'd like to get set up for success from the very beginning of the very first day. In order to do so, we'd like for you to please complete a few action items to help us save time on account creation so that when we get into the training, we can start using our accounts from the very first moment we arrive. If at any point um, during account creations you run into difficulty, please do contact me. Here's my information on the flyer that you received and I can troubleshoot account setups and help you get started. You'll notice that the flyer you received contains a checklist of action items. You can add this to your own Google Drive account by clicking File, make a copy, and then add this document to your own account. That way you can make notes and um, modify it as you like. You could record your username and passwords on here. And this would be a document that only you can see now because it's in your drive. It's no longer a shared document. The first thing that we'll do is create a Schoology account. Schoology is the learning management system that we'll use with students and that we will also use to complete our coursework for the blended learning sessions. In Google Docs, when you click a link, a pop-up box appears with the actual link. I created this document, so I have options that you probably do not see. When you click the link, it will take you to Schoology.com, and you'll come over and sign up. You'll sign up as an instructor. That will give you the ability to create courses as an instructor, but to also join the course for our training as a student. You'll enter all of your information. Click register. You can have your browser remember. You can enter this information or you can skip this step. Schoology will automatically load a tour for you. You can click next to be given an overview of the dashboard. We will also go through it um, in depth in our upcoming sessions. What you'll see on your page when you first log in is an activity feed somewhat like a Facebook feed. You'll have more actions over to the left, and on the right-hand side, you'll see um, upcoming things from your calendar, such as due dates um, for assignments that you've created. The first thing we'll do is join the course for our um, training sessions. You'll notice that right now we have no active courses, and we have the option to create or join. When we join, it wants a code. So we'll come back over here to our uh, task document and copy the code. Then paste it into the join code, the join box. Now you see all of the materials for the course. There is a section uh, for getting started with Schoology with lots of help documents and videos that you might be interested in from the get-go. Um, we will go through these resources in our first session. Coming back to our to-do document, we can check off some items by clicking on the checkbox, right-clicking, and then changing that box to a check mark. We create, uh, oh, we did not add our Schoology uh, bookmark yet. Quickly, we'll do that. We'll hop back over here to the Schoology tab. We will grab the lock next to, we'll grab the address, uh, and we'll drag it down to our toolbar. Now you'll see that here is our um, Schoology uh, URL for our course. Uh, now it's living in our toolbar. Okay, we created our account. We can check that off. Right click on the box and change the, the box to a check mark. 
There's a place for you to write down your username and password if you like. We've created or we joined the training course. We'll check that off. Next thing to do is to join our group. Let's go ahead and click um, over here. We'll copy that join code for the group. We'll come back up to our navigation at the top and we'll slide over here to groups and we'll click join. Again, pasting the join code into the box. Oh no, it looks like our group has no information in it. Actually, our group just has no discussion posts. We do, however, have 30 members and many resources already loaded and more will be coming um, your way through this group. Uh, you can feel free to explore any of the items here. And again, we will be going through um, this information in depth in our upcoming sessions. You'll be using resources from this group and you'll be adding to the group. Okay, we can check off that to do. And our last task for Schoology is to explore other groups and join at least one. We can come back up, come to groups, click that drop down, and we can click find public groups. Um, the educators on the Schoology groups are very, very active. I'll post a question for um, a request for resources. It you know, and um, within a day, I'll have one, often several um, responses to my to my message posts. So, do feel free to add as many groups as you like. I'll just click a couple to get started. Now, when I click groups, I see that those groups are available to me. I can click on to them, and I can see members, resources, and read discussions. I can also add a discussion if I like um, and contribute to um, the community. If I don't want to receive emails uh, when a new post is uploaded, I can um, change my settings over here. I can also um, be notified, like say I don't want to know anything except when someone comments on my post to answer one of my questions. I'll just um, select a notification on comments on my post and click save. When I um, click up here in this little arrow um, with uh, the, red, the number in the red box, that tells me all of the recent activity that's happened um, since I last logged in and uh, checked my Schoology account. So very quickly, that was how to add the Schoology um, URL to your bookmark and how to join the course and a couple of groups. Next, we'll get your Google Apps for Education account set up. So first of all, um, you should have received an email with your Google account um, with our domain on it. If you have not yet received that, go ahead and pause this video and email me D henry at alted.net to let me know you do not yet have your email address. The way that you access your alted.net account is to click um, the link here. You can go to any Google page. You'll notice um, common elements on the Google Apps pages. Uh, we call this the waffle and this is where you can select different apps. This circle up here tells you which account you're working in currently. I already have my altad.net account added. If you do not have that account added yet, you can go ahead and click add account, enter the email, and enter, then enter the password. And that will allow you to quickly switch between accounts. I know that I've switched between accounts because it tells me this is where I'm logged into. And I see the picture for my altad.net account. Okay, we've signed in here and we'll check that off. Okay, the next thing we want to do is sign into the administration panel for 
uh, Google Apps for Education. This is how we manage students' um, Google accounts and their Chromebooks. Click the waffle and then click the admin wrench or click more and scroll down to find the wrench. If you don't see the wrench, you could go also to admin.google.com and you'll see options similar to these depending on what your permission settings and role is in the organization. Okay, we can go ahead and close out the admin console and we can check off that we did so. Halfway there. Next thing to do is to watch a short video explaining uh, blended learning. As you watch this video, think about what elements look familiar and which elements you might be interested in exploring further. Once that's complete, you can click, right click on the box, select the check mark, and that will check that off the list. Last thing to do, complete a survey to help us figure out how best to scaffold and differentiate the learning and also how to present tools that may be interesting to you um, and help us learn which tools you may be proficient with already. This will help us customize the day to meet more individual needs. You'll simply click the link and come on over to the Google form. Notice that you may submit anonymously if you would like, or you may include your name. Go ahead, answer all the questions, and then click Submit. Once you've completed that task, go ahead and check it off and reach around and pat yourself on the back. You have successfully completed all of the tasks required before the first day of our conference. Again, if you have any problems whatsoever, please feel free to contact me at any time and I can get you um, into any of the accounts that you're having trouble access. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.